So, we're back with the Ragnarok challenge. It's a mod. Is this a mod? It is indeed a mod, brother. And what it does is, you play vanilla Germany, but on 1st on January, 1947, the whole world attacks you and makes a super faction. You fight everything, and they all have military access to each other. It's been hard, it still is hard, we've been doing well. It has been a pretty fucking sick stream, and I really, really enjoyed it. Oh, what the fuck is this shit, man? Oh, you're gonna die, man. And, um... What, what you really need in this mod is to stay patient, man. That's really important. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I, I remember yesterday I got really fucking tired and I started doing mistakes. We gotta breathe. We gotta chill. Don't forget, though, in this mod you get certain bonuses. You get little bonuses, and for example, if you kill a nation, you're allowed to core that nation. And, uh, I've been calling out the community, you guys, for the, 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 I'm gonna call it the true Ragnarok challenge. Play Vanilla Germany historical. On 1st of January 47, you have to open cheats and make everyone declare on you and they all have to be in the same faction. That's what I call the true Ragnarok challenge. Uh, I think it's impossible. I will go as far as saying it's impossible. Anyway, we have a lot of 20 wolves holding everything. I mean, holy shit, we're getting attacked nicely. Okay, okay, okay. Um, the defense looks sweet, especially after really shitting on Russia a bit in Poland. Russia is really coming back right now. We're holding all this. I have my main attack force, which is these red guys. They are my main bad boys. These guys are 40 with super soldiers. I even have one big army here. But right now, the goal is to go through Hungary because it's plains. Because these mountains, you ain't touching this. Coring is a bit broken. I think it's not broken. It makes this actually viable and playable. Without the coring, you will just have no chance, pretty much. So they keep chopped it, man. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, mm. everything is good until 1941 the Soviets join. Are you retarded? Did you listen to anything I just said? Vitomif. Are you stupid? So, that's what we're doing. I need to establish, but what is the ultimate goal? Cut off Italy, red kills Italy. Then this is the front. It's a big front. Which I think a full army, which I call East, will hold that. It should be fine. I even got these brown guys now. So that's what we're doing. We're breaking through Hungary. Let's go. Let's go. I'm so tired. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so low energy, man. I'm out here to pop it, man. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Okay, let's go. Wait, wait, what's going on here? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. In 183 days, I have really good air. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 man. I'm down with this one. Who the fuck lives in belts? So. I think I want to circle all of this somehow. That's kind of the idea, but I only have 24 divisions to do it. The problem is always, you create a blob like this, right? You go in like this. But do you have 20 of us behind you to hold you? And if blue actually follows me here, blue is gonna be very, 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 very spread. It's like, yeah, I need blue behind me, you know? Actually, quite super important. Uh, important. Back to the hype mod gameplay, that I didn't miss much. Yeah, fuck Company Furious, man. That game is fucking done for me. It might be a good game, but 4v4 is just... Oh, I don't know. Shoot me in the head. Slowly, guys. Always slow. Again, I want to push into the west, though. I don't want to go too deep into Hungary. We could get a hung Hungary kill real quick. But does that really do anything? Does the Hungary kill really do anything? Hmm. I'm almost done eating. I'm sorry. Hmm. 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 You see, now I'm getting killed from behind. Because I need someone to follow me. That's the point. That's why I need some help. Oh, 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 oh. That's the problem with this kind of attack right now. Wait, I just got a circle? Wait, what? Wait, what? Hey, 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 what's happening? Dude, why am I in so much trouble? 
I think I'm dying? One guy should pin this. I can fix that. Ay, 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 ay. You just fight infinite people, that's really the problem. But Budapest should really help me with this possible instrument. And I'm holding, good. Okay, that's Budapest. Uh, how are we looking here? Budapest is connected, okay. Are we good here? Okay. I just want to finish my chocolate. I actually put it away. Tommy, you don't have to finish the entire chocolate. You can eat it later. Yes, Dad. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hmm. Mm. I need blue to be more helpful with red. How did I can actually build more units? And blue is allowed to have six more 20 whiffs. Which are coming right now. These guys actually are just for um, the Coast Guard. So six good 20 whiffs. These are my good ones with artillery and anti air. They could help blue a bit. Now, again, I'm under so much attack, I don't even have time to go anywhere, man. I'm just under so much attack. I need the Budapest connection. I can do frame. KKK guy didn't stop himself? What the fuck's he doing? They're kinda open here, man. What the fuck? You see, Blue is just overwhelmed, man. Blue is very overwhelmed right now. They just. They attack me forever now. Good try taking that. I just need more units, man. There's just so much going on. Look, I'm under infinite attacks, man. Holy crap. Now this opening looks sweet. I need to push west. Maybe get the kill on Hungary. But again, how will that really help me? The Hungary kill? Switzerland. Hungary is actually almost dead. How will the Hungary kill really help me? Something I'm wondering. I have enough mills for air. I could really do some air, man. Two Brazilians going down. I broke actually through. Still, next, I need to take all these railways. Maybe this one is even happening. Looking good. Careful with red, though. That pass is still not connected. There is a railway here, though, right? Yeah, Budapest should be fine in a second. Okay, a quick hungry kill could maybe help a bit, man. Careful, man. One mistake, I'm really in trouble. I got the packs. I don't know if that's enough to kill Hungary, though. Could lead to a nice little encirclement there. Careful, careful. Blue is very spread, though. That's a problem. I actually didn't take packs yet. I'm taking packs now. Tommy, it's actually pronounced PSHIZ! Sorry, just me trying to speak Hungarian. Okay, that doesn't help me much. It helps me a lot actually, because that shit is fucking dead now. Oh shit, should probably clean it out before... That means this needs to be pinned. This man needs to be... I can't pin from here? Whoa! Wait, oh this is one tile, this is one tile. We obviously want to clean that, don't we? There's an open point, Chummy! Chummy, you're open right there, Chummy! Chummy, you must be careful! Adaptable, adaptable, adaptable. Now, I want to push west. The goal is to get a big encirclement with this mountain range. That's my goal right now. <clears throat> Core decision? I can't... I actually can take it, yes. So, in this mod, if you kill a nation, you're allowed to coordinate nation. It's the developer being like, hey, man, this these players need a bit of course, otherwise they will just have not enough manpower to do this challenge. But the true Ragnarok challenge is doing this without any helperino. Yeah, Blue needs help, man. Blue needs some help. Ah. Ah. The innovations are fine. I'd still love to secure this instrument somehow. Everything's a bit chaotic right now, we gotta be careful. I still like to secure some kills here. 
All fronts are holding though, that's good. I can just do whatever I want with red right now. Keep it all busy, we got a kill here. And then I remake red. I just want to consider that blue, blue is, blue is so important. Blue has been saving us for so long. Blue has to carry most of this. So killing us in circle makes blue come back to me. But also you don't want the enemy to entrench much. You want to actually keep moving, don't you? So let's keep moving west, let's keep moving west. Imagine touching grass. Imagine, imagine, imagine touching grass. You kids nowadays. You actually don't touch grass anymore. You guys are always home, right? Do you guys still... When, when you were 15, did you go out and play with your friends? Like on football courts and shit? You, you do still do that, right? I think you guys still do that. Easy, man. Okay, it's time for Red to do this. Yes, yes, yes. No, no, yes. If your answer is no, that's very sad, man. No offense, but that's hella sad. Okay. Supply looking good, man. Budapest is mad strong. I need Blue to be stronger, though. And Blue is getting a lot of help in a sec. Heinz is, has a good upgrade. Heinz with the adaptable. Aaron Tank, man. Look north, Tommy. How did they take a port? One would have thought I would have defended that. Oh, I did I have no defense on that port. Okay, I mean, it's fine. We're gonna easily kill that. Super easy, bro. But thank you for telling me. You're amazing. I just wanna keep on loving you. Uh, Fuck, man, shit. I'm so fucked lately, man. I, I really need to figure my sleeping schedule out again. I actually kind of sleep eight hours. I think I'm just, like, chronically fatigued or some shit. Okay, Austria looking mighty fine now. Austria. Austria, I'm coming. Austria. Depressed? I'm not depressed. I'm a very happy guy. I'm not depressed at all. I'm a... I sometimes say to Lisa, <laughs> what is the counter of depression? What is the opposite of depression? That's what I have. What a privileged cunt. Privileged asshole. What can I do, man? I didn't ask for it. But I feel like I think I have the counter of depression, man. Mania? Jubilians. Jubilians. I'm a very happy guy. Just tired a lot, man. You know, fucking baby and shit. Okay. More entrenchment is gonna help a shit ton. We're actually pushing through. I'm gonna get mad in circles here in a sec. I just need Blue to have more power. But the reinforcements are on the way. There they are. And Blue goes up to 30. Anyway, since I can't do my sub message now, it has already been a year, Mr. K. I still remember our SD1 game. Thank you for the good and fun content last year. Let's make this year better. The best loader risk play. Let's make this year better. What? Last year wasn't good? Asshole. Thank you for the donation, man. Thank you for la donazione. Mille grazie, signore. I go into the... Austra Austria. Thank you, man. Thank you, Bokern Babe. Bokern Babe. Are you Bokern's girlfriend? Bokern Babe. We might actually get this in circle in a second. The game looks pretty good now, doesn't it? Once I have tanks, I feel unstoppable. Just so attacking that. We're even taking that capital? I don't know why this is still alive, man. Come on. I need more blue, guys. Breaking through nicely. Taking a Ljubljana. The Nepalese Paidala di Pinjana. Mountaineers are in trouble. This is all fine. I might have this challenge locked down, bro. I might have it locked down. It's not done yet, though. We have to be careful. Ice Commissariat would be nice, so I don't have to govern that shit anymore. And I might actually start the Great Schism of Western North here. We're very close to do the Schism. Shazam. Blue has a lot to do, don't they? Yo, Yellow, help a bit, man. Come on. Yellow need to help a bit. Also, red is overextended. We don't need Vienna here. We look for the big. We're looking for the big picture. We're looking for the big bang. That's what we're looking for. Look at that Italian guy being alone. Uh, is that open? It looks almost open, doesn't it? I don't think yellow should attack yet. They will attack your ice cover yards, unfortunately. Who cares? It's a different than before. We're gonna still. Who cares? Oh, I might have to take a coffee, man. Lisa! 
Something a lot of people try to figure out nowadays, but a lot of people seem to not have the answers. Will the free trade bonuses be good? I will lose a lot of resources, and because I'm the only guy in the world, I'm like alone, I want every resource for myself. Free trade will be very bad here, I think. Okay, okay, okay. So Red then kills this and kicks Italy out of the game. But then I need to do um, anti anti invasion shit, huh? And then yellow can be used. Yellow is actually a good army. There are real 40 wolves. I have 83 divisions. Ay, 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 ay. You will need a ton of garrisons. Oui. Oui, mon frère. Oui, oui. D'accord, ce n'est pas un problème. Alors. Thousands of them. <sighs> One thing I really learned with you guys, with chat, is you guys always overestimate invasions, man. You guys always act if there's... Dude, there's a Mongolian tube of invading you right here. Chat goes, oh, 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 Tommy, he's not listening to me. I have to send him something in Discord. Oh, he needs his phone number. I can call him. Tommy, Tommy, there's a Mongolian tube of landing in North Germany, man. You guys always go way too crazy over that shit. I'm telling you, way too crazy. Any more railway guns? I'm, I'm always losing railway guns. I don't even know why. Okay, Italy, you're fucked. Italy, you are fucked. This attack looks a bit scary on my old Heinz here. But I can just send yellow over afterwards. Huge kill, man. Let's go red, get in position. Takes forever for them to get in position here. A lot of anti-air because we're actually being bumped to shit. This game is far from over, to be honest. Okay, red is taking over now. That means pink can fully just get the fuck over here. Stop taking supply from red. And yellow is officially done. Now, yellow, I feel like you guys might be needed here. There seems to be some problems. Other than that, we're fully holding. Italy into France is the next goal. Is it just my stream that is dying right now? Looks like it. Poor Austria already did that. Pay attention to the lore. Bam! Little slap so you wake up. Friendly little slap. You know how when like your brother slaps you, it's not supposed to really destroy you. It's just a friendly little slap to make you wake up. Okay, Italy is getting shit on, man. I might, I might also have yellow here. Mm, it's time for some defense here. I will need a lot of garrisons this game. That is crystal clear. First, need a little slap as well. Oh, I do, man. Unfortunately, there's no one strong enough to slap me. At least not in this chat. I've seen you guys. Today... <laughs> so, <laughs> so today, me and Lisa were in a Warhammer store, right? And Lisa, she was like, I want to watch. I want to see what's happening in there. So afterwards, we walk around the city and Lisa's like, Man, I really imagine these Warhammer people to be more nerdy. Because in the Warhammer store, I was a cool guy. The, the, the vendor was a cool guy. Everybody was cool. And she was shocked that the people were actually kind of cool people. And she's like, Man, I always imagined nerds more nerdy, you know? In the magic store, in the warmer store, people are kind of normal. And then I say, well, Lisa, you know, though, there's one place on Earth where people are really fucking nerdy. She's like, yeah, Paradox Con. <laughs> it was so funny. She was like, you know, people aren't actually... She was like, nerds are dying out. People are not that nerdy anymore. But then we agreed, nah, Paradox Con. That's where you meet the really fucking nerds, man. The weird people that, that you don't want to meet at night, you know? <laughs> I think yellow will be actually great here, over here. So red can just take this. Red can even go aggressive right now. They aren't aggressive. It's the end of Italy, baby. Holy shit. Very nice. People paying 500 euros to play 10 minutes of Victoria free. <laughs> Yeah, if you ever go to ParadoxCon, I think you will know what I'm talking about. You, you're gonna, you're gonna see, brother. You're gonna see. Actually, I think yellow needs is needed there. Yellow has problems. Yellow have problems. So, guys, we got this, right? You guys could actually just walk into this. I think I'm just breaking for everywhere now. And do 20 percent entire is why I win this challenge. When, when like some new players are like, "How's Tommy doing this? Oh my god, he's so good at the game, bro. You just..." Make 20 moves of Empire and you, you just win everything right. in single player. But let's go. 
I'm just gonna shit on everything now. Thank you, Orléans! Merci beaucoup, mon frère! That's why I don't go to ParaxCon. I love ParaxCon, man, because... It's nice meeting you guys. It's the only way I kind of meet you guys. I, I'm gonna go as far as saying I hate TwitchCon more than ParadoxCon. Because ParadoxCon, everybody is just really nerdy, but they love their community and their games. Whereas uh, TwitchCon is, is very fake and superficial, in my opinion. I remember I'm walking around TwitchCon and everybody is like... Everybody, nobody looks at you. Like, I'm walking and the girl is walking at you like this. Hey guys, I'm live with TwitchCon. Hey, go away, you sexist pig. Anyway, guys, this is for my two viewers, yeah. I, I don't know, TwitchCon felt so... You know, imagine a convention, that's how I... Imagine there's a gathering of Ferrari drivers, right? The world's Ferrari drivers are meeting. You will, you know, you you, you know what it will be like, right? Everybody is kind of like oily and, and kind of like not real and they're not really people you want to have a drink with. I don't know, maybe I'm really wrong here, but I, I felt TwitchCon was smeary, man. It had this oil about it. I don't know. I can't explain it. But ParadoxCon beats uh, ParadoxCon beats TwitchCon for me. But maybe I'm just really wrong. Next TwitchCon in Paris, you can meet me there, guys. If you want to meet me, guys, I will be part of the Drag Queen show. Um, you know a couple of Ferrari drivers and none of them are oily? I know a couple of Ferrari drivers and none of them are oily. Maybe because you're oily like them, so you don't see it. I know a couple of Ferrari drivers, this motherfucker. These are sending me baby video. I have to ignore you guys for a second. You have to watch baby videos. Is he doing anything else? Fucking Lisa, she sends me these five minute videos where the baby does nothing and I'm like, is anything gonna happen? <laughs> Like, I see this guy every day. I don't need a video of him just staring. <laughs> I love the baby. He's amazing. <clears throat> Looking really good right now, doesn't it? We're really crushing it right now. How do I land in the UK, though? That seems rather impossible at the moment. Clickbaited by Lisa. Do, 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 do. I really want to drink a coffee, but I also feel like I'm always so fatigued because of coffee addiction, so I shouldn't drink a coffee. Thank you, Moto. But I'm getting old, man. I could literally just... I could go to bed right now and sleep one hour. I was never like that. My whole life, I never was like that. <laughs> yeah, we're getting orcs. 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 La, la, la. So that's a lot of coastline defended. In Twitch Comparis, would you want to try French regional cuisine? Well, obviously, if yeah, I mean, obviously, if you're a different country, you probably want to eat their food. What do you think? I'm going to McDonald's every day? What kind of coffee? Uh, I'm a big milk coffee guy, but lately I'm addicted to latte macchiato. Latte macchiato with one sugar spike. Love it, man. Super addicted to it. Oh, Italia! Wait, you're my faction? Okay, shit is getting weird, man. What the fuck? Bitches in my faction. I think the game doesn't understand that. What the hell? Give control of state. Oh shit, I need to figure out all of Italy myself? Lazio. Abruzzo. Campania. Yes, say yes. Wait, he died. Wait, I have a friend. You got a friend of me. I thought I'm alone. You got a friend of me. Dude, I have a friend. I finally have someone who's with me, who shares my love and my war and everything. Hello, Italy. Can I core Italy, though? I can't. Because, you know, I can just give that stuff to him, though. Easy game, man. Los, los, los. Let's go. Okay, Italy, I need to give you shit. Uh, didn't I give you shit? Give control of state. Campania. It seems bugged. He's not saying yes. Okay, he seems fucked. He seems stupid. Mate. Yeah, he seems bugged out. I think he might be booked out. 
Well, go fuck yourself. But I can't court. That's a bit shit. Well, now I'm gonna easily kill France. Won't there be an event to give him all of Italy he occupies? What? What? Listen, but there's never any peace. You know that, right? There's no peace deals. Console command and Nexum? That makes sense. You're, you're probably right. You're right. You're right. I should do that. It's really, it's really buggy and weird right now. Uh, D04? D04. Annex D04. D04. There you go. That makes sense. I needed, I needed to do that. Achtung. That is crystal clear. Oh my god, Tommy, there's a division in Barry. Oh my god, Tommy, you're not seeing it, guys. He's not seeing it. Hey, look, guys. Oh my god, Tommy came. How is he not reacting to this? Look, I'm reacting, okay? You can breathe, you can calm down. You don't have to spam. Everything is cool, man. I don't know why I can't give the order to only defend ports. I don't know why that is the case. I would like to give you an order to the core event. Italia! Hey, Italia! Oh, Zadare! Oh, Zad Zadare? 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 Nanda, yo. Zadar. What the fuck? That's Italian? My ass, that's Italian. I think we're crushing this game right now, man. Looking good, looking good. Zadar. Okay, let's just take care of France. The front line of red is gonna get very big, man. Uh, let's make five specialists for yellow, and then yellow can come over. No, no, no. Then yellow can come over. He might already be able to come over. He needs to defend though. Yeah, we're just breaking through here super hard. The big brave folks are happening now. You're not gonna care about North Africa? Yeah, why? Who cares, right? I don't give a shit. The Tommy Islands? What? Oh man. Oh, I'm gonna ask Lisa for coffee, man. I think I'm a true addict now. <clears throat> Hallo, mein kleines Schnitzelein, meine kleine Sonne. Hallo. Du, ich wollte einmal fragen, könnte man ein kleines Kaffeelein bekommen? Wenn natürlich Zeit ist, mein Schatz. War, aber ich bin ein bisschen müde hier beim Streamchen. Also ein kleines Kaffeelein, da würde sich der Tommy sehr freuen. Kuss auf die Stirn, meine Engelchen. Okay, that should be nice enough to get a coffee out of her. Da, 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 da. We're gonna kill everybody. Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? You don't know what it's like talking to a girl. Don't act like this. Good. We're actually looking great now, man. Wait, my line got deleted? Come on, boys. Probably gonna go like this. Go, go, go. Nice. If you sub to Tommy, you can send messages like that to your girlfriend as well. Even if you subscribe, you unlock a, 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 a secret super cam. People don't know that often. Only subscribers can see it. So, I feel great now. I think the hot pot is over. I don't think so. It's really make... How do you handle enemy air? Because you can't beat the air. It's impossible. You're forgetting Sardinia? The fuck is this shit? Did you... Man! Weird fancy pants. Weird fancy pants is a noob. I just want to say his name out loud in public. Who the fuck gives a shit about bitch ass Sardinia right now? Outside can't name it anyway. No navy or shut up. Anyway, guys. Yeah. Don't you need to, to core? I don't need no cores. I have three million manpower, bro. I'm Gucci, man. I'm Gucci. I need yellow to come over though. Don't I? I kinda need yellow to come over. Let's try that. Yellow will be the anti Iberia unit. Take the Spectre, 107,000 UK divisions. What? 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 12,500. 107, you said. Oh, 125. 125. I think we're Gucci now, though. Could even speed 4 a bit. I just hope Blue holds on its own. It should be able to. So how do you win the game? I kind of just explained that. It's 
go. Let's end the war in France. Are you guys here yet? Then red consolidates. Let's go. That means... Yeah, red just keeps going. We gotta take Brest and then Paris. Why not destroy France? Bro, I know you're taking my soul of this shit. Why? Like what? Why not destroy France? Like what? What? Just ban him? I don't like banning people like this because I think it's just dumb. It's not his fault. He's either young or dumb. I only ban people that are legit. Well, I actually ban a lot of dumb people. It's true. Why not destroy France? Bro, man, what? Okay, I think we're breaking through on all lines now. The question is really how the hell do you land in the UK? I guess I need to make some air. Paragraph or something. Navy is going to be almost impossible. I don't really... Sh I shouldn't do naval valve. I don't have time for that. But you don't have time for this. Tommy has become more humble. Go suck a dick 10 minute man. Bam, there you go. Shut up. Don't talk to me like this. Good, 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 good. Just use commands. Banned, banned. He said just use commands. Eight hour ban. Come on, people. I'm actually positive on shit. Look at that. Oh god, I'm unstoppable. It looks like we got the challenge on lockdown now. But the real Ragnarok challenge, man. That sounds like my magnum opus of 4.4. That sounds like something. Thank you, Aurel. Aurel, you just unloaded a camera. This camera is only for Aurel. No one else can see it. Aurel, do you see the camera? This is your this is your camera right now. You unlocked that. Is that cool? Is that is that cool, man? I generally believe though the real Ragnarok is impossible. I would love to try though. <clears throat> but that seems really Maybe with like corpse or something? Like a bunch of people together. Has anybody given 50 subs to increase Valdemar's ban? Unfortunately not. Valdemar, Valdemar will only be banned one month. So I can make air now. I have everything ready for the air. Yeah, we can actually design an air. I only have 17 XP. Should be enough. Hamid! Habibi! Thank you so much. How do you say merci? How do you say... Uh, f <laughs> how do you say thank you in Arabic? <laughs> or, or how? Probably something like... Shuk -shuk shukran. Shukran. Shukran Hamid Habibi. Shukran, shukra, shuk, 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 shuk. I live in such a big city, right? I live like in a big city, right? And and I don't mean this racist. Oh, here we go. Tommy said that. Thank you, Aurel, for the free. Thank you guys so much. Um, when I walk through the, the city, there's no one speaks German anymore. I'm obviously overreacting, but when I walk through the inner city today, I was like in downtown, right? And like, dude, it's 70% foreign languages, man. Like there's this, like Isa, she goes into uh, a store to buy clothing. And me and the baby, the baby's sleeping, I just walk up and down the main street in my city. Where like all the businesses are and hundreds, thousands of people. And I just listen to everything. And you walk around and it's like, And everybody just, you haven't seen Brussels then? I don't mean that racist. I like that. I think it's cool. I think it's the future. I think everybody mixing is a cool thing. You know? No hate. No hate. Shout it very well today. But mostly I have a shit beard. I have very shit beard meta. I don't do enough. Here's what I learned from professionals. In the morning, you take a shower, right? You don't even... It doesn't even matter what you put in your beard. It doesn't matter. What happens afterwards is what matters. So, shower, shower. Then, what you do next is... You go to to the bathroom or wherever you are <clears throat> and you put oil in it oil psh, 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 beard oil blah, blah, blah. what i do is this beard oil blah, 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 blah. i then take um a, co a comb a comb a very very small comb i take my two hands which are full of oil and i do this to the comb then i take the comb and i do this then what the professional arabic guy told me is what you do next is i never have time for this you take um an air dryer an air dryer and you air dry your beard and you keep brushing it. 
that's what you do. You should do that once a day. If you want to go really hard before sleeping, you should put certain creams into your beard. That's what I should do. Uh, for example, I have very dry skin, very dry skin. I often make it snow. So I have to put certain things, just talk to women about this, they know it. You have to put that shit into your beard overnight. But I'm always too lazy, uh, never do it enough. And uh, I don't have a good, good beard game, that is not true. My beard game is I'm not good. My, my beard is not good. I like what Japan depends on China. New Hoi 4 DLC just got leaked. As someone that might want to get sponsored, I shouldn't click that. It's probably just a meme anyway. Saudi oil is good for your beard meta too. Tommy, just curious, have you ever tried keeping a mustache? No beard, only mustache. Since I'm not a hipster and I make my own style and don't just copy the style for, that everyone else is doing in Berlin, I never did a mustache and never will. I see, I live in a hipster city, man. Everybody here is a hipster and everybody just tries to look like my dad in the 80s. Fuck that shit. I, no, no, no. I ain't touching no mustache, man. Fuck that. The link is legit. The only thing legit here is your... Good thing I didn't say that. Good thing I didn't say it. Yellow, you must be careful, yellow! Yellow! You had a mullet when you were a kid. Yeah, I was a kid then, though. Right? Thank you for your mercy. No problem, man. I got you, man. I was about to end your whole life. Have you ever tried Adolf mustache? Obviously, I remember. Everyone did that. Everyone in the world did that. You're shaving your beard and your... Like you have a full beard and you want to go uh, fully shaven. Right. So you do a little Hitler beard and then you you make a picture for your friends and look like, Hey guys, it's me! About to make Poland! Everybody did that. Only people that can't grow a beard didn't do that. Everyone else did that. Like, don't even act like it's weird. Okay, we're almost done. With the West. I guess we kill Russia then, but I think this challenge is over. I, I think I crushed the challenge. But then the YouTube comments will complain. He doesn't finish the challenge. He's not finishing the challenge. Yes, what the fuck? Why is he never finishes anything? Hitler ruined that stash. He did. Hitler was so evilly famous. He utterly ruined the Hitler mustache. It's gone forever. He kind of killed the name Hitler. Uh, Adolf. I think nobody naming their kids Adolf much anymore. Only if you're a little bit, you know, maybe from, maybe in, you know, you know, thank you. Thank you, look so Thank you. Nice name. If you hate your kid, maybe. What do you think? You think there was a kid born once? And the parents were like, my god, I hate this kid already. Let's just call him out of the fucking up. Do you think there has been parents on this planet that got a kid and they hated the kid instantly and just wanted to fuck his life up? That probably existed, right? I mean, a lot of them are now non-subs. <laughs> that probably exists, man, right? People that want to bully their kids, that, that, that probably exists more than I think. Chet's moms? Oof! Ouch! Ow! Got him! <clears throat> Isn't there a Nigerian politician named Adolf Hitler? I think that is the truth, yes. I think we're Gucci man. Let's take down Russia and then I think I'm calling this because this is getting mad easy now. Women sometimes start hating their babies. Yeah, that's weird. I've seen people throw babies away in the trash. You've seen that? I mean, you're from Sweden, I guess, but you've seen that? What does that mean? Man, since I have a baby and I think even before that, like violence against babies, man. That is like, I can't imagine anything worse, man. Like, holy crap. That must be like the the darkest a human mind can reach, man. Right? I think here is beheading people because you like ISIS, but violence towards babies even tops that, I think. I think that tops that even. Like, oh, you could just say violence against anything that's innocent, right? Like animals and stuff. Like true innocence. Trauma? Oh, that's really serious stuff, man. That's not funny, dude. Oh, man. Uh, as you guys know, I'm really into baby metal lately because I have a baby. And there is a big, big problem. A lot of people do because they're retarded. Dude, one thing, one thing about life is that people are retarded, right? I mean, everybody should agree. Most humans on this planet are straight up fucking idiots. And there's a thing, dude. When you walk into a baby doctor office, when you go into a baby doctor office, 
There's pictures on the wall everywhere. Everybody talks about it. It's a massive thing. And it's Schütteltrauma. It's, uh, I don't know how to say it in English, but it often says, do not shake your baby. It's a massive issue in medicine because so many people are idiots. What happens is you're, you're a parent, right? And your IQ is like 50, you know, like, oh, I, I fucked Stacy with a condom, man. Oh, let's go to the White Castle. You know, a bunch of rednecks. So what happens is they have a baby and the baby is crying all night. But then redneck Billy is like, oh, stop crying. I tried everything. So what parents do is they take their baby and they shake it because they can't handle their emotions. And that fucks your baby. It kills them because babies can't handle uh, shaking yet. They don't have the right uh, uh, anatomy yet. And it fucks them up, gives them brain damage, kills the max. They don't die, but they get super fucked, man. They can actually die from it. And it's a big issue. Many people do that. It happens more often than you think. People shake their babies because they're overwhelmed. Look, man, I can understand that you're overwhelmed. I get it with emotions, but... Bro, you're actually fucking killing your baby, dude. That happens a lot. Do not ever, ever, ever shake your baby, guys, when you ever have a baby. Never, ever, 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 ever. If you ever feel overwhelmed, man, here we go, Tommy K baby tips. If you ever feel like, oh, I can't handle this anymore, which is human, man, then take a break. Uh, take, put the baby in a safe space and just leave the room for five minutes and just breathe, man, you know? All jokes aside, serious. Give it, or, or just do it like shit parents and give them a phone. Here's a phone, watch this Spider-Man cartoon that I found. I hate that shit. Dude, I'm gonna sound like a super posh asshole, but I believe in it. When I go to a grocery store and there's these kids, man, these kids, you know, these kids, first of all, these kids are like five years old. They shouldn't be in a stroller no more. They should walk like a human. And then you see these parents, right? And then the kids are like this. <laughs> They don't look away. They don't look away. That's not good, man. That shit's not good. I think that's shitty parenting, man. Right. Ain't happening in my house. It ain't happening in my house. No, no. That's not cool. That's not good, man. You did the same with your Nintendo Color, no? What? What? Right. You think I gave my baby a Nintendo Color? What? What is you talking about, Willis? Um, get rid of here. Let's skip four years to see Tommy's kid. Oh, man. I guarantee you, man. I'm gonna be so arrogant. If everything goes well and my kid doesn't develop any diseases, I will have a very good kid. I guarantee you that. I'm gonna be straight up arrogant about this. I think me and Nisa will be amazing parents. The mother who launched her newborn baby into a dumpster. Oh, no, no, no. At nearly 8 p.m., three dumpster divers outside of a J.C. Penney's in New Me Mexico made a startling discovery. Here you see the divers huddled around a black trash bag. What you can't hear is the whining that was coming. Oh God, that is horrifying. The dumpster divers, April Meadow, Hector Jusso, and Michael Green, believe the pitiful noise had to be a whining cat or dog. Oh, fuck, Something man. that had climbed into the dumpster accidentally. Instead, that should be crimes against humanity, man. You should go to Brussels, found. dude. A living, breathing baby boy wrapped in a trash bag was left in that dumpster. Did you imagine that's your life story? Like, he's gonna have a life now, he's gonna be fine. He, he goes to school, right? But they tell him that story. Yo, you're the trash baby. And then one day, he watches, like, Tommy K. And he's like, Tommy K, I really like your content, man. But I can't sub yet. And you're literally just the trash baby, man. You're the trash baby. That's your story. <laughs> what the fuck? But, man, that's so fucked up, dude, man. Who, hey, human beings are so fucked. And that's why, that's why I often say I think there should be, I'm a guy, okay, here we go. You're gonna hate this. I, I think there should be a bit more control. I, I'm a guy that thinks, I think we, we should live in a fully free world where everybody can do exactly everything. There should be a little bit of control. Because I really believe this. If you give 8 billion people utter freedom to do anything they want, Many of them just go crazy. It's too much for them. Their brains can handle the freedom. They go insane. They make a cult. They join ISIS. They throw babies in dumpsters. They fuck their cats. I think some people need a bit of guidance. And I don't mean it in a fascist way. Uh, you know? I, I just mean... You know? I don't know what I mean. Least authoritarian German. I mean, look at the world that we live in right now. Stupid people are overpopulating everything. 
If you're intelligent, you have like one kid if you're lucky, maybe two. Stupid people, man. Trailer Park Johnny, he makes six girls pregnant, bro. Stupid people are gonna outnumber us very soon. So I'm asking all subscribers, since you're very intelligent, to fuck a lot. Make babies, guys. We need babies. And then you tell them about Tommy K. Then you tell them about Tommy K so I get more subscribers. Oh, that's such an Andrew Tate scheme. It's like the Ponzi scheme of uh, Hustlers University. Guys, just make babies and tell them about me. The problem is, yeah, it's true. It's actually true. Capitalism would cr crumble if everybody was too intelligent. Our financial system in the world is really based on dumb people, right? I just saw this. Uh, I, I saw this thing. In Germany, we have a TV show that comes once a week. It, uh, it's called whatever the fuck. Jan Böhmermann. And he always uh, exposes stuff. And last... Um, last two days ago i was watching the new episode and he was talking about um how do, I, how do i explain that you know these people i don't know if your country has the same but in germany they're everywhere oh, can i find like an example these things are super big in germany uh, 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 nah, 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 nah. i'm looking nah, nah, nah. Uh, uh, finance coach scammer or so You like this? This is the TV show. You guys don't. I, I love this guy. This guy is huge in Germany. Uh, he's very big in Germany. He exposes stuff. And his latest episode was about these guys. I want to show you one sec. You know these guys? You know this shit? And they're everyone on YouTube. It's these finance guys. It's like. Listen, man. You have to have a dream. If you don't have a dream, click off this video right now. Go away. You don't understand. But you, yes, you waiting here. Why are you not a millionaire yet? I'm 20, I'm a millionaire. This is my Bentley, this is my model housewife. You can be a millionaire too. Just click my link and give me $4,000, you idiot. You know, these motherfuckers? And, and they're Ponzi scheming, right? They're doing, well, what's my point actually? I tried to make a point or something. Sounds like a Tommy stream? What do you mean? You actually get something here. I, I remember my point. If you had no stupid people, they wouldn't fall for this shit, right? Click here to find out how to make a thousand dollars a day. It's called Life Coach in Thailand. Like NFTs and shit. And uh, I think I, I got my point back. I, I'm going to say something evil, guys. I'm going to say something evil. So I'm watching this uh, sh show about how these lifestyle coach scam people, right? It's a fucking scam. You give them money and then they tell you, make two more people, give me money too, so you get your money back. It's a, it's a bonus scheme, pyramid scheme, right? And here's an evil thought I have. I feel no remorse for people that get scammed. Like, in the, like, like, no, no, no. I feel no remorse for people that get scammed that are not old people. When old people get scammed, that's really disgusting. Like, kids and old people getting scammed, that's disgusting. But listen, man. If you're a 25-year-old male from Western, from the Western world, North America, Europe, and you fall... For the lifestyle coach that says, give me 4,000 euro, I will change your life, man. If you fall for that, I think you fully deserve it. I really, I, I, I kind of applaud the scammers. I'm like, okay, you kind of deserve that. I don't know, you know? If you're that fucking dumb, you shouldn't have $4,000 in the first place. <clears throat> A lot of people are desperate. Still, it's their fault. Thank you, Spirji. Thank you, Spirgy. Do you know Ergo? Does that... Uh, Ergo? Isn't that some insurance or some shit? Ergo. Skellies or Skelly Bomber? What are you talking about? The thing is, in Germany, they can actually sue and get their money back. Currently working on that for the uni. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. MMO players get scammed once, learn a relevant lesson. It's crazy, though, how big scamming culture is in the world, right? Scamming is so big on this planet. Everywhere scams... They always find the next big thing. Crypto, NFTs, and then the next thing, and the next thing. They always look for the next big thing to scam people. It seems to be a huge, 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 huge thing in the world. To always find a way to take money away from dumbos. Alright, did you know with Twitch Prime you're gonna get a girlfriend and big muscles? Twitch Prime's not a crime. With Amazon Prime, you even get a free subscription to Tommy K right now. It is easy. It's only $4.99. Thank you very much, guys. You do it? I don't think I do that. You know? So these scammers, these scammers, they ask you for $4,000, you get nothing back. You get nothing. 
you get absolutely nothing. That's real talk. Real. I'm like, I'm re talking. We're gonna real talk. Thank you, Alcatraz. I'm going full screen for this because I feel this. I'm that serious. Thank you, Vix. Thank you, nice suck. Nice suck. Just like your mom. Shut up now. Listen. Real talk. I tell you for five years, ha ha ha, subbing to Tommy K makes your life better. In Thailand, big scam. Look at NFTs. Look at Andrew Tate. Look at crypto. Look at all these scammers. You give them money, you get nothing back. You get nothing back. What do you get here? I give you tips on investments. I show live on stream my investments are working. I tell you to start working out. I give you tips how to talk to girls. Just today, a guy sat in chat. He got late yesterday because of my teachings. You actually get shit here. You have a friend. I always text people back in my DMs. I'm always here for you. $4.99, not $4,000, not $5 million NFT, $4.99. You have a friend that cares about you and gives you real life tips. I'm the dad you never had. Stop the bullshit. And I believe this. I believe this. Thank you, Kaiser, for, for the tier three. I wanted to talk to you, Kaiser. <clears throat> I once uh, asked you if you could do some Tischler work for me. Bist du was Tischler? Ich hätte da vielleicht was Kleines, wenn du Lust hast. And I believe in this. I'm that serious about this. And that's why Kaiser is dropping 100 gifted just because, you know, and he unlocked the 12 hour stream. Because Kaiser understands this is the real shit, man. Wait, ending screen? Wait, what? Wait, huh? Oh, sorry. Oh. 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 Well, Kaiser, thank you for 100 gifted. Thank you, right striker. I just got late subbing. Wait, are we getting invaded? Ah, Kaiser Shin. Kaiser, 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 man. What the fuck, dude? 4.5k subs are back, man. Can you fucking believe it? Thank you, Kaiser. A lot of Kaisers on this channel. I wonder why. And we are back, man. Thank you. Who you hooking at? We have a 12 hour stream on our hands, boys. Holy shit. 12 hour stream, baby. 12 hour stream. Yeah, Kaiser, you have, you have a choice right now because you gifted uh, 100. If you want Kaiser. If you want Kaiser, Valdemar can be banned for two more months if you say yes. I'm not a carpenter anymore. Oh, what happened? Why not, Kaiser? Why not? Ich will dich fragen. Ich habe jetzt neue Wohnung und ich will ein, äh, ein, ein Schild an der Tür machen mit meinem Namen. Und ich wollte so ein schönes vom Tischler gemacht. So richtig geil und schön mit, richtig schön gemacht wollte ich machen, ne? Da habe ich so an dich gedacht. Da dachte ich, hat der vielleicht Bock auf sowas? Ich weiß ja nicht. Aber jetzt sagst du, ist, was ist denn da los? He said yes, he said yes, he just, did he say yes? I don't see it. He said yes. That's a four month. Did he say yes? He said yes! Valdemar's banned for four months? Oh. Oh. Valdemar is fucked, man. What happened, Kaiser? If, if you don't want to talk about it, then, you know, just don't talk about All it. Right. It's good. I don't mean it with often, but where you also addicted to gambling, is it the same how you cannot feel bad for desperate people? That's an interesting question. That's a good question. I want to go into that. Nee, das wäre kein Problem mit dem Schild. Kannst du sowas so richtig geil? So, ich kann mir... Warte mal, ich kann es mir nicht vorstellen. One sec, Jet, I have, a, I have to talk to my biggest subgift of all times. He's actually important, okay? Uh, mal ein Beispiel. Uh, 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 Namensschild Tür aus Holz. Ich kann es schwer erklären, so. Ich suche halt hier... Ja, nicht so ein Rotz. Das ist Müll hier. Das ist Rotz. Ich, ich kann es nicht erklären, so. Kaiser, look at this. Look at this, Kaiser. Let's talk. Uh, I'm talking to Kaiser for a sec. All you guys are fucked for a sec. Mein Chef hat die Firma verkauft. Und was willst du jetzt gehen arbeiten machen, oder was? Kannst du nicht woanders einsteigen, oder was? Kaiser, this is what I thought about you. Chat, I'm just gonna not talk to you for a sec. Um, Kaiserchen, guck mal hier. Das ist das alte... Um, let's do it in English for chat. This is the old nameplate of my grandpa you know back in the day people had this on their doors you know it was on the door so like people knew who you were people don't do that anymore like where i live they don't do it anymore and i wanted kaiser lucas i wanted to do this one remade with beautiful uh, wood like beautiful wood nice oil nice luck and shit and then put it on my outside wall that's that's why i was thinking about you if you're interested text me bro i would like to fuck Torschrift. old school shit man I wanted, I wanted to do it in that style to remember my grandpa. All right. <clears throat> Discord? Gets nicht Discord, or what? Discord. Text me in Discord. You never done it? 
Wenn ich 50 Kilo abnehme, sind wir uns Prozent ähnlich. Na, davon träumst du, Junge. Da war man nicht, Mann. So hübsch wie ich, wird keiner. The neighbors know who you vote for. <lacht> I don't give a shit. You can make Polish plans with the Kaiser and German all you want. Just keep building my band. Uh, how many beta allies have you killed so far? I need a new sub goal. What should be the next sub goal? I need something good. Well, I have a cool idea. I have a cool idea. Thank you, Rob. How you doing? 64 fucking months, man. Rob, you've been here a while, my dude. Um, I think I know the next sub goal. It's a very funny one that people will like. Dead Space Remake? I shouldn't make game sub goals, but I'm not gonna do them anyway. I'm too busy right now with games. Skyrim Part 3, Perma Ban, Valdemar. The next sub goal, which we're all gonna regret massively, is this. Wait, my sub goal is even. Eh? I, we're playing UFC. I'm gonna get my PlayStation in uh, eight days. The next sub goal is. Because I actually would like to do that. The next sub goal is German only stream. German only stream. Oh god. I think that's amazing. I only play German games. We only do German shit, German memes, German reactions. We're playing Hella Loose as a German. German, German, German. Jawohl, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Alles sauber, alles gut. Und dann wollen wir mal die deutsche Twitch-Szene. Ja, hier die ganzen komischen Twitch-Streamer hier in Deutschland. Alles, alles Lappen. Alles, alles Rotze, Junge. Die reagieren doch alle nur auf irgendeine Scheiße, Junge. Und da machen wir auch richtig Content hier im deutschen Land. Ja, dann gucken wir mal. Wer hier der Boss ist. Saying I have been here is stretching it, but at least I have kept Dono going, huh? Rob, you're not watching me anymore? How dare you? You have like a life now? Motherfucker. Thank you, Matolo. Hella loose and full German would be really fun. Why would I gift subs for this though? What, are you racist? You have something against Germans? What the fuck's your problem, dude? Enos, we have that 45! Is this channel back on track or what? Is it back? What is this, huh? You have 4k viewers but 1500 subs, what's going on there? Mm. I have big plans, I have big plans, bro. I have big fucking plans, I'm that serious, I have really big plans. One sec. Need to first plan how to save this guy. I have big plans. Thank you, Enos, for the 45. I have actually big plans. Listen to this plan. I always I should I always spoil my plans. I shouldn't do that. I have this plan. Why should I spoil that though? Like, not, you know what? For once, I'm not gonna spoil my plan. I always talk too much. I'm a big talker. Thank you very much, guys, man. I swear to God. Listen, uh, um, I want to really get a green screen. Because I think. I genuinely believe a green screen is gonna make my content become the next level. Uh, I think as a streamer, I'm an entertaining role player. That's what people watch here, right? And I, 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 I always was against green screen, but now I actually think green screen will actually benefit the stream. I'm, I'm a role playing guy and green screen will really help me with that. I really believe that. And I really wanna get a green screen, but first I have to do the new wall and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I wanna role play more. I wanna actually copy the, the Dr. Suspect a bit. Where I do full screen and behind me is like a World War II scene and I'm like I will that's what I want to do next. I have this cool idea. I'm now gonna spoil my idea. Look man, I'm a huge UC fan. You guys know that. I love UC. I, I love it. And I can't wait to stream it again. I'm really, really excited for that. I've been thinking, but can someone read the toss first? Am I allowed to be upper body naked on Twitch as a, as a man? I think I'm not, right? I think I'm not. Thank you, Green Dragon. I want to... You guys just unlocked the sub goal. We're playing a mega UFC campaign. Uh, we're playing UFC uh, uh, GOAT campaign, which means I have to become the GOAT in UFC 4. And I would like to be in green screen with UFC gloves and, and naked upstairs. So I'm a real UFC fighter. And I was thinking of having like walk-ins and shit, but I think that's... I don't know if that's allowed. You have to cover your nipples though. Do I? That's what I really want to do. Uh, that's, that's a dream I have right now. I'm, I'm not even kidding. I want to introduce Tommy K green screening with a UFC campaign. I'm actually gonna order the green screen. But I wanna do it like this. If anyone knows anything about green screens, I'm very open for help. I wanna buy a thing like this. I wanna buy a thing like this, put it behind me, and then the green screen falls down from it, you know? That's what I wanna buy next. That's what I wanna like buy this week. That's what I wanna buy. 
But I think I need really good lighting or something. I need to buy lights or some shit. You need to cover the nipples? Shit. I can get a, a sports bra. Just tape your nipples? I probably have to do that, yeah. Yeah, that's a little idea I have. That's a little idea I have. Doesn't Elgato have one that pops up? Elgato green screen. Oh. I should buy that. Ah, and I can put this on the on the roof. Ah, I should buy that. Okay. Creator canvas. Hmm, looks good, man. I'm gonna get that. I've always been very anti green screen, but I think now I'm not anymore. I think. Dude, imagine Game of Thrones. I'm like dressing up and green screen, and I have cool backgrounds and shit. Could be really cool content. I believe in green screen now. It goes on the floor. Oh, and then it stands. That's so sick. I don't have to put it on the roof. Oh, sick. I'm going to buy that today. That's really nice. I'm going to buy All that. Right. I lost the division. Oh, my God. I lost Uno Division. I have 30 minutes left on the stream. I think I want to finish this right now. Wear a t-shirt with a six-pack. More realistic. I could wear your t-shirt. How do you put it on the floor? Like anti-gravity? Say what I'm about to say. And what I'm going to say is... That when you are desperate to make it in life, and whatever, all that stuff. The only one to blame. And I really believe in this. You can shit on me all you want with how you're born and stuff. Is you. You are the only person to blame. When I was desperate and I was a gambling addict and all of that. I was the only one to blame. And how can I excuse that? How can I look back at Tommy and be like, Oh, he didn't know any better. It was his fault. No. No. I was just an idiot. That either goes path A, keep going down this route and become a loser that never achieves anything, and it's just a failed human, or you maybe start following path B that leads you away from these dark paths and makes something out of you. So that's why when people get scammed, when people are gambling addicts, when people are stuff like that, like a slicker, I feel with them, I really do. Like a slicker, I feel with that guy, I really do. But I have no pity for them, bro. I don't know if I'm an asshole, but I think the world is an ice cold place. I think that's the number one rule everybody has to learn. I'm going to teach that my kid. You have to learn. New rule number one, the world is not fair. This planet is not fair. There is no Avengers. There is no hero coming to save you. There is no wishful thinking. This is an ice cold planet. Now you can accept that or you don't. You're too cynical. Maybe. Maybe you're right. But if you're a gambling addict, you don't have my... Empathy, no. Because it's your fault, and you're the, you can get out of it. You can. End of story. So, I don't know. All I think right. that's my answer. It's your fault. What is feedback posting? What is that? No, it's Fabian. Ah, Fabian. What does Fabian know? How much did you gamble? Oh, I gambled so much, bro. I don't want to tell that story again. I told my gambling right. stories a million fucking times, man. Like, I told it a trillion times at this point. No hate, man. Okay. Let's get everybody to their respective positions. It's a big defense. I now was really addicted to the gym. I think I'll stick with it. Nice. That's a good addiction. Hey, King, can I get 5k? I think the core idea is right. To get better, you have to choose to get better. That said, once you make that choice, you need to get help because few people can do it alone. I guess I agree with that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But but the first step has to come from yourself, from the deep depths of your soul. The first step has to come out of the depths of your soul, man. If your inner soul is not in it, you're fucked. My dad is gonna die soon. My, my dad is a, I tell you all the time, my dad is a ultra heavy alcoholic. And lately it's going pretty heavy. Um, my dad is really not doing well right now, and if you know the stories, I don't want to talk about this because I'm always open about this. I talk about everything, but the problem is chat is really dumb very often. It's very hard for me to talk to chat because you guys are very stupid. Like some guys gonna be like, "Why don't you help your dad?" Like you don't, he doesn't know the stories I told on the stream where I did everything to try to help my dad, and I think my dad is not gonna make another ten years. And me and my all the people, everyone, we have tried everything to help my dad. Everything. We tried everything possible to help my dad. And still, he keeps drinking. He... Look, man, there's people on this planet that have zero choices, that have nothing. My dad has a loving family, has great friends. 
My dad can come visit his grandson all the time. My dad has a good life. Sorry, but still he decides every day to keep drinking. And at some point, I, I feel like, well, okay. Then, then I fucking tried. And that shows me. Once again, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't fucking know. It has to come from the inside of your soul. As long as my father, inside the death of his mind, doesn't want to change, no one can change him. How old is he? 57 or something. He drank his whole life. My, my dad is so lucky. He smoked 40 years and he drank 45 years. He's still healthy though. He's very lucky. All his friends are already dead. Thank you, yeah, Dick. You're going to see my dad in the documentary that's coming out this year. From the German TV station. I quit smoking in October. I feel so much better and healthier. It's so hard to save someone that doesn't want to be saved. Yeah, it's like... That's one thing I learned. It has to come from the death of your soul that you want to change. What documentary? You will see later this year. My mom once told me you can't help people who don't want to be helped. It is what it is. So, I guess we're gonna fuck up some Russians. I guess when I kill Russia, I stop this. We kind of finished the challenge. My dad smoked and drank and did every drug basically quit and died of cancer at 50. How tell me this game came a long way from where I saw it yesterday. Yeah, once you make the breakthrough, this, this is really over, man. Yeah, let's just kill it now. Unfortunately, I'm too good at Hoi 4. This challenge was too easy. But the real Ragnarok challenge, I'm interested, man. Do this challenge without any bonuses. Oh, that must be... That seems so impossible, actually, dude. I don't know how someone can do that. I would love to try. I would like to do the impossible in Hoi 4, man. Thank you, Havok. And yeah, can so moderator please ban Van Pebble for four months? Is that possible? My father used to drink lightly and still got some problems because of it. He's still alive. Yep. So, uh, yeah, to finish that point. <sighs> I know it always offends people when I talk like this. And it sounds so cliche, but I am a big, big, big believer that that everyone, 99% of people, there's some people that can't. But most people on this planet can make it. I generally believe that. I know it sounds... There's always a guy in chat who's like... No, Tommy, okay? I have, like, two jobs. My my mom has cancer and I have five kids and shit. I can't change. Well, if you think that, that's already over. But, yeah. I believe that, uh... I mean, you have to define this. Are we talking about becoming a millionaire with Ferraris and models? No. I mean, on a small scale. I really believe... And I'm, I'm sorry I sound like this. Thank you, brother. Um, joining a Bokwan game? Maybe Friday. Saturday, I have a different game, though. Thank for the sub. I genuinely believe, you're gonna hate this, that every single viewer, 1,340 people, every one of you, could improve their life a little bit. You could reach a new level in your hobby, in your work, physically, romantically. I believe in that shit. Each and every one of you guys could improve. Me too! I'm not saying I'm perfect. I could improve so much. But that's the first step, right? To to uh, accept that that you could actually do better. Ja, ist okay, ich brauche echt keinen Kaffee. Alles gut, alles gut. I can't do shit without help and I have none. Why? What's the situation? Marina FH, what's the situation? Tell us about it. Like, we're not judging. I'm generally interested. What's the situation, man? Imagine having green air, man. Holy shit. Green air against the whole planet. What's the situation? Ma Marina, that's his name. Marina. I want to listen to him. Let's pick one guy. Not all of you guys, one guy. Where will you ban Valdemar when I see him next? <clears throat> He's probably just gonna hide. Any tips for streaming and get subs? Uh, uh, find a niche. Find a niche. Find, find a niche. 1 million for... I'm guessing 12 million. 21 million. 1 to 20 KD. Once you break through, man, Hoi 4 single player is easy. Once you get your breakthroughs, you're done. Man, I'm still so much in love with Hoi 4. I could play Hoi 4 every day. I just always look for interesting stuff in Hoi 4. Like, for example, the China game in Kaiserich. That was so fun. I always look for interesting stuff. Like, cool mods and shit. And I really think Darkest Hour is sick. Uh, yeah, is Shitbag Gaming still watching? Like, tonight, I could totally start the Russia game with you if you want. You have no focus? And yeah, to, to that guy that, um, to the guy that said, how can I be a streamer and shit? One thing I also believe in... Uh, the point is, I know you guys always hate when I talk about this shit. I just always think it reaches one single guy and helps him. One thing I learned is in life, 
Here we go. Motivational speaker Tommy. Fucking, we can do some medals actually. Um, motivational speaking Tommy, I know you guys love that guy. I really believe you should figure out what your obsession is. That's something I really believe in. Like, like before you go to bed, you sit on your bed and you meditate for five to ten minutes. You meditate and you ask yourself this one question. What the fuck are you obsessed about? What is something you're willing to eat your whole life? And then you should pursue that. Like if it's a job or, or a hobby or something. I think that's what you should do. For example, I would have never been a good lawyer. I was I was in law school for 10 years. I would have never been a good lawyer because I was obsessed. But I was obsessed about streaming though. Every single day for five years, I think about streaming all day long. Every day in private. Dude, Lisa hates this. I always say it often. When we eat dinner, I'm sometimes not there. She's like, Tommy, hello. And I'm like, huh, what? Because I'm thinking about streaming. I'm obsessed about it. So becoming a successful streamer is easy for me. So you should find your obsession, man. That's something I really believe in. Find what your obsession is. And then hunt that shit down. But I have no obsession. Well, then, yeah, just whatever. Shut up. Watching autistic people entertains me. Well, you can be a professional viewer, man, with your nuts up. Well, if it's in an unhealthy obsession, though, if you're if you're obsessed with drugs, I mean, become a good drug dealer, I guess, right? Or if you're obsessed in titties, become a porn actor. Jacking off in public obsession? Nah. Hmm, that's where it gets hard. What's your obsession? Is sitting home watching Tommy? Well, do you know Sing Sing? Sure, I know Sing Sing. I watched that guy ten years ago. I still watch him today, playing, uh, playing. Sing Sing's voice, voice has changed so much. Um, yeah, become a sex offender. Like, let's make a, a normal example of life. One thing I so believe in. Look, most people go to university when they're eighteen, right? That's All what right. mostly is the age. I generally believe, and most young people All in chat right. will agree, when you're eighteen, you don't know what you want to do yet. Okay, you're, you're really like, what the fuck am I gonna do with my life? So a lot of people, they start university, like courses or class, and after five years, they're like, I don't wanna do this. I don't wanna study this shit. <clears throat> so, um, and a big tip I can always give young people is, figure out what you love and then study that. Sure, maybe you're into history. I, I like World War II tanks. Well, do you wanna study lore? Where you maybe make more money, but you're gonna hate it, or you want to study history and become a history teacher or something, where you make much less money, but you're happy every single day. You need to follow the happiness, man. That is so important. Study something that you want to do, man. Even if it makes less money, man. At least you're gonna wake up every single morning. You're like, man, today I'm gonna talk about tanks again. My life is so good, yeah, man. Me and me talking about tanks. It's a bit of a problem right now, Saudi Arabia. That's a big tip I can give. I should have done that 10 years ago. I didn't do it though. Do what the fuck you love and you will not work a single day in life. But what if I love, uh, but, but tell me, but, uh... <clears throat> Remember my name? Can I share my story? Yeah, share your story. Mariner, let's listen to Mariner. How long did it take to go full-time streaming? I actually don't remember. I have this weird thing, I'm not even kidding. I forgot the first use of my stream. It's like a trauma. It's like my brain deleted them because it was traumatized or something. I forgot a lot about the early days of my stream. It's really weird. I think about that sometimes. It's like my brain got traumatized or something. It's really weird. I can't explain it. I lost a lot of uh, uh, memories. So history is not about the money teaching to 15 year olds or in university is different. I was your first viewer remember? You know, my first viewer is Dwight Felton. Where's Dwight Felton nowadays? Dwight Felton doesn't watch anymore? What the fuck happened to Dwight? Where's Dwight? I can't remember 2021. Yeah, I can't remember 2018, 2019. I can't remember that. I haven't seen Dwight in forever yet. I follow Dwight on Twitter. Come on, let's kill Russia and be done. Is that subgoal only a joke? Why would that be a joke? Come on. Dude. We don't joke on this channel. My life was meaningless until I fell in love for the first time. I was abused constantly. I felt betrayed and walked over by the girl I was in love with. Quick question, Marina. How old were you when that relationship happened? 
Eventually, she broke up with me. My life is messed up, and the only thing that gave me happiness is love. But I can't find love, because I'm alone, and the only thing that kept me going in life was love. Love is my obsession. I want to find a soulmate. And to find pure love, you have to constantly try. And I'm a big introvert. I'm gonna be very offensive and shit on you, and I'm predicting you're under 18 years old. Marina, please tell me your age. I'm predicting everything I own, you're under 18. And I'm not trying to diss you. I just want to keep my, my narrative going. How old are you, Marina? You're 20? Oh shit, wait, you're 20? Oh shit. Oh shit, you might actually be fucked. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Right. Love is your obsession. Is there no obsession that you want to study or what you work as? Because I'm kind of talking about... Look, here's my advice to you, Mariner. You can't find... I'm dead serious about this. Why are you laughing? You can't find your soulmate or the love of your life if you do not love yourself. So, Marina, I would ask you, deep in your soul, are you fully okay with yourself or do you love yourself? Because if the answer is no, what you should do is you should abandon the aspect of love that you hunt right now and f first find your own fulfillment. Find a subject or something to do that you love. So you believe in yourself more, and then you can go. Thank you, Sad Panda. Kalenderspruch. And shut up, Chad. And then from there, you can go. Also, a little tip, man. Take it from old man. You're 20. You're 20. You have like 10 more years to find your soulmate, man. You're gonna be fine. Don't worry about it. I'm happy with myself, absolutely. I need warmth of another human being to do anything at all. Marina, what do you do uh, to find a soulmate lately? Do you do uh, do you do dating apps or how do, how do you do that stuff? How do you look for that that love that you're looking for? I feel like I'm Dumia now. I'm talking to viewers. Let's talk to viewers. Oh shit! Wait, Ugh, man, annoying. All right. He's at the Crimean front. Jesus Christ. Can I find my soulmate in this chat? No, there's no girl here, man. We should do a segment where people just talk to me and we talk about the issues and we try to help them. Another tip I have, Mariner, I don't know if it's a tip, it's just like my experience, man. I, I might be super wrong, I don't know. Another thing I learned in life is... When you actually stop trying so hard, it becomes much easier. That's something I, I, I experienced in my life. I always looked for girlfriends and, 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 and sexual partners, and I could never get anything done. No girl was interested. And then there came this point where I started resignating. I was like, ah, fuck this. Let's just focus on my own shit for now. And that made me uh, much more attractive to women. Like, I started loving myself. I started working out. I started looking at my my, 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 my business and, and my studies. I stopped caring so much. And I think when you have a date with a woman and she, she can feel that this guy will be fine tonight if I reject him, I think that's attractive to them. I, I think... One thing I also do believe in, men are super emotional. Men are much more emotional than women. You know how we think in society women are super emotional? I think men are much more emotional than women. Truly believe that shit. And uh, I think, like, when you watch these reality TV shows, right, these men, they fall in love with women after two seconds and shit, right? And you have to control that. You have to, I was the same. You have to control that, even though it's hard. You have to control that shit, dude. I feel like I'm getting stuck a bit. Careful. I can't control it, brother. I learned by loving yourself and forgetting about women, it'll make you better, which will lead to another new. Marina doesn't say anything anymore. Shit, man, this is getting a bit annoying here. What's up? I have to actually almost call the stream. I want to kill Russia before that, though. It's annoying. I gotta send someone. Um, 
Let Red clean that out real quick. Come on. Red does a little clean out. Come on, real quick. Are we not trying the corner after you said he's fucked? I gave up, bro. I don't try anymore. I tried looking for someone on Discord service. Tried asking for friends that still had when I knew someone, but no result. Now, here's my life advice. Here's what Tommy K is going to do now. And I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Mariner, loss, loss, loss. your problem is you're approaching it the wrong way. You're telling me you look for partners on Discord servers? Listen, man, you, this, you're not doing this right. I'm sorry, man, but I think the best advice to you is the truth. And, bro, if you look for partners on Discord servers, you, that's, that's your first problem, man. That's something you should fix. That is just the truth. You gotta fix this shit, man. You gotta start looking reality to the eyes, man. If you want to find a real partner, they're not going to be in no Discord servers. They ain't going to be on no Reddit streams. They ain't going to be in no fucking streams, man. And especially it won't be MRF. You need to wake up to reality, bro. That's that's my advice to you. Once you accept reality, you can play reality. And you realize, man, that the way to find a partner is, is not Discord, man. Also, you're 20. Don't get fucking up. You're fucking 20, bro. The fuck? I'm a bit in trouble here, huh? <clears throat> I don't know, you, you sound like someone that, that needs to fix his own shit first. Like, stop spending right. your time on Discord servers, man. Stop doing that. Don't do that. Oh, All you 20-year-olds, KKK guy. Acting like your life is over, bro. It took me until 27 until a girl wanted to fucking touch me, man. You little sissies. My god, you're young. Just fucking get it done. Okay, that's shit advice. You shouldn't say that. Just get it done. That's not good advice. But you motherfuckers, man. You're always acting like your life is over. Holy shit, you mean? You know how many times I've been rejected until that baby came along, bro? What the fuck you doing? If I can do it, you can do it too. I don't want to shit you, Mariner. I'm trying to help. Or All just right. not help. Just maybe giving my advice, All if right. it's advice or anything. But if you tell me you look for partner on Discord servers, that's, I think that's the first thing you should fix in your life. What if I'm afraid to get rejected? I know that. I know what it's like. I was, an, I was scared my whole life to get rejected. 100%. Here's the thing. You're going to hate this. But this is my advice. Take it or leave it. You need to fucking handle that shit. Look, I, I reached this point. So I'm, I'm 22. I'm traumatized from my first girlfriend because she said things. You know the story. I go on Tinder. There's a girl. I know exactly how you guys feel. I'm matching a girl on Tinder. She's she's good looking. I'm like, and I'm, I'm sorry. She's so beautiful. Hey, friends, look at her. You think she'll be my wife? I'm going to bed. And then you lay in bed, right? You lay in bed and you imagine a life of her. Oh God, could this be the one? Imagine the kids we could have. Right? You do that shit. I know, I know you guys. I was like that too. You need to suppress that fucking cringe shit. It's cringe and fucked. You need to suppress it. You need to turn that shit off. What I did once my life got better. And look, I had created a good life. You can do that too. What I did is, you have to turn that shit off. I know. I know it sucks to hear that shit. But this obsession is unhealthy and mad unattractive. It makes you so unfuckable, man. You need to, somehow, I don't know how you're gonna do it. You need to find a way to stop being so cringe, man. I want you to do a training session. Uh, if anyone is listening that is going through this, I want you to do a training. I want you to go on Tinder and just click match with everyone. Just match, don't even look. Match, 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 match. And I want you to talk to every single match you have. Just talk to them. And I want you, while you talk to them, not imagine a life of them. Don't imagine them to be the wife of your fucking life and you're gonna have anime kids together. Just talk to them. And then, when they suddenly don't text back, when suddenly she doesn't seem to be interested anymore, you sit down and you take it in. You put the phone in front of you and you're like, Oh God, I thought she's my wife and she rejected me. She broke the match. Oh God, I'm alone forever now. No, 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 no. It happens. There's four billion women on this world. And I can do this. I can improve and I can find a woman. And you teach your brain, you condition your brain that rejection is normal. Because once you get used to it, it gets so much easier, man. It gets so much easier. It's the truth of life, man. Once again, my biggest tip I can give, once I stopped giving a shit, it all of a sudden worked. Because I believe, I believe women have this 
this radar for cringe. And when a woman realizes a confident man is sitting with her on a date, a man that is still respectful, not an asshole. I'm not talking being an asshole and shit and, and just shit on all the women and reject. No, 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 no. Ah, but a German man role playing as his ancestors in their most glorious time. We're talking awesome. about something more important right it. now. Thank you for the $5, Kenya Swallow. Kenya Swallow? Um, and uh, where was I? Where was I? And I know it's hard. I know when you're 20, 23, I know it's hard, man, but you have to fucking do that. You, you have to go through that pain. Reach a point where rejection doesn't hurt you anymore. It's so important. Because then you, 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 you have this confidence that is super attractive, man. Discord service is not ideal, but people like me don't talk to people at all and sit in front of a PC 24-7. So touching grass to find a storm is not an option. I'm trying to find someone as closeted as I am. Also, war fucked me up. Little because I had to flee from my home in eastern Ukraine and now I live in a, with a family that hates me. Jesus, man. Well, I'm going to keep going. Even though I think some viewers will be like, I'm insensitive. Life gives you shit situations and you have to fix them. I was also like you, sitting at home a lot. I didn't go out much. Probably a bit more than you, but I was still not going out much. The point is, if you don't go out much like you, you have to use dating apps. You have to use dating apps, my dude. It happens. Now, the problem is... Now I have to be careful that Twitch doesn't ban me. When you're an introvert who sits at home a lot, which I fully understand, probably think I was the same, and you can't get any connections, the way to do it is online dating. Now. Once you realize online dating is your only choice, another problem opens up. If you do online dating, there's something you need. Number one, a good profile. And number two, you need a good product. Now that sucks, but I just want to be loved. That's not how life works. Women look for mates that they want to mate with. And even though it sounds entertaining as shit, if you're a 200 kilogram greasy guy that never showers, you're going to have a problem finding the soulmate. Life is about earning stuff and if you don't put the work in to attract the woman you're gonna end up alone as that's not call it fat shaming whatever it's the truth of life it is the truth of life so what i will tell you marie and i'm so sorry that you're so on the pedestal here, but i just want to really i care about you is turn these discord servers off fuck that shit. then and you're gonna hate it you're gonna hate this and you there's a high chance you're not gonna do it I want you to start working out. I know it sucks. It's like, what the fuck? I want you to start working out. You're an introvert. You hate teams. I get it. Work out for yourself. Um, go jogging in a, in a park where there's no one. Maybe get a little uh, rubber mattress in your home and do something there. Just 10 minutes a day. Maybe then 15 minutes. You, nobody wants you to be a fucking old Schwarzenegger. Little workouts. What's going to happen though? I know it's so superficial when I, you think when I say this. What happens when you start working out is you start loving yourself. Right. You get confident. Now, once you worked out and you look kind of normal, what you can now do is you have a good profile picture on, on dating apps like Tinder. You actually don't look like the most unfuckable guy ever anymore. So women, if you're a five, then look for fives and sixes. You can have a nice six, make a good life of her. A six is gonna look, that's a nice guy. He looks good. Boom, match. Then, next thing, you need to learn to how to be human. You don't text them, Hi! 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 You wanna drink coffee? No, you gotta learn that. You gotta train that. You will get rejected a hundred times, but then you know how to talk to them. And step by step, you put the work in. And years later, it might take years of work, you will find a girl that you like, she likes you back, you're gonna have sex, you're gonna marry her, you're gonna have a life. The problem is, as unfortunate as it sounds, I don't want any muscle, I wanna be a stick. Well then, then you're fucked. I truly believe in this. You have to deserve things in this life. And women look for good fucking mates, dude. So put yourself in a position where you are a good mate. So, Andrew Tate done. <clears throat> in the end, it's just how do you get better at things? How do you get better at a sport? How do you get better at Toy 4? By keep going, right? Play it, play it, do it, do it, do it. Same with women and dating and finding love of your life. You have to train. You can't just go, oh god, I'm gonna try. Oh, I got rejected. I'm fucked for the next 10 years. Oh no, what the fuck is that? It's fucking bullshit. Training, 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 man. Training, training, training. 
Or just become gay. Achtung. Yes. Angetreten. I'm not dating is trash, Tommy. Studies show women use Tinder like a bell curve. <laughs> Bullshit. Don't listen to that guy. You're an idiot. The way you present yourself in online dating is the way what you get back. If you're a guy who's like, ugh, ugh, you wanna fuck? You wanna fuck? You're only gonna get bimbos, man, that suck your dick for two weeks and then leave you. But if you're like, hi, my name is John. I have a job and I, I, I like traveling. What's up? And then you get 10 matches. You don't match with the with the 10 that has cosmetics on. No, you put it away. You look at the seven. The seven that looks like a normal human fucking being, man. You're like, hey, this seven. Let's go with the seven. All of a sudden, she ain't no whore. You ain't no idiot. Everybody's fucking normal. If you come together, shit happens. Don't listen to this guy. You get what you look for on dating apps. I genuinely believe this. I don't know how Tinder works nowadays. I, the way I, rep I presented myself on Tinder was very, very uh, looking for long term. Looking for girlfriend, not just fucking blah, blah, blah. Which you often do with comedy. If your profile is comedic, it shows women this guy actually is like... Not a fuck... Uh, not, no. Not someone that just wants to fuck. And then you find people. Thank you, Hasmete. I, I need to calm down a bit. I went way too hard here. Thank you for the fives, brother. I rock out and found the job. I still hate myself. Why do you hate yourself? Meditate on that. Why? Thank you, Hasmete. Since entertainers is in prison, I can take over his business. Good shit. I'll probably make more army, huh? Let's fucking go. How many German playfuls have you done? What do I know? Women also really like you seeing working on yourself in general, just anything, not only working out, just putting effort. I just really am a guy that believes in deserving. Um, let's, let's, I talked about this to Lisa two days ago. For some reason, I don't, I, I'm not allowed to share. Uh, not, not about us, though, someone else. I believe that up to 70% of relationships between men and women. I don't know about other stuff. The man is hunting the woman. AKA the man has to prove to the woman he's still worthy. I think in a lot more than 50%. Relationships, the woman is overall better as a match. I think many men don't want to accept that. I don't want to accept it for often. And you have to deserve it. Look, I don't, I don't say it's simp for them. I don't mean be their slave. But let's make a great like, let's make let's make examples. Let's talk about this. I think Lisa is the greatest woman I've ever had. Right? Lisa is perfect. She's the nicest girl ever. She's an amazing mother. I think she's super sexy. She makes amazing food. We are the best friends. Uh, me and Lisa are just perfect together. But I realize that in the past and in the present, I need to do something to deserve her. She has to do the same. She can't just start eating and become 20 kilograms. She's going to fucking lose me, maybe. She understands that. And I understand because when I met her five years ago, I was a very childish guy. If you remember old Tommy, I was a fucked guy, man. I was really fucked in my head, dude. And I realized I have to change something. There is, um, I have to be careful now. There's a story I know lately about two people, a relationship between a man and a woman. The woman has been telling the man, it's not my dad, it's someone else. The woman has been telling the man, I love you, we can have a life together, but you have a little alcohol problem. I need you to fix that and then I will stay. He didn't fix it, relation didn't work out anymore. So he had to kind of fix that to keep this really nice woman, which has been a perfect match for him. Oftentimes, you gotta, same goes for, same goes for, for women. You have to deserve shit, man. You can't just, I sometimes think people think like that's, that's what incels are, right? They, they think they deserve a relationship, even though, no, you don't. You're not doing anything for it. You're not, you're doing nothing. You're not improving yourself. You have no job. You look ultra ugly. You're fat as fuck. You ain't, who the fuck wants to, you know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta earn this, I think. You gotta earn it. Anyway, what, what am I talking about, man? Fucking hell. Marino, all the best, man. Dude, there's only bad days. There's no bad life. You fucking got this, man. Don't fucking worry about it. Wait, where are these planes? Mate, you fucking got this shit. Just, I, I think I just want to tell you, and maybe, I, I know it sucks, man, war and everything, but the universe doesn't care. I think you just have to, like, don't, don't give up. 
keep going. Don't don't sit in the corner and be like, oh everything sucks. Uh, don't do that. It leads to nothing. Both people they should look for it out for themselves. They aren't running a charity case. So fix up your shit. Yeah, I think in society often people think they deserve stuff. You see that with a lot of young liberals nowadays that that think a privileged world should just come to them. You have to deserve things. Thank you, CMM. Uh, fucking lip tarts. Am I right? Like you're the universe tells you you're entitled to jack shit. You are entitled to jack fucking shit, man. And I think we have to all ex understand that. Thank you for this motivation session. I'm going to the gym now. Well, maybe one day you will have $5 to sub, man. Ridiculous, man. Fix your shit. I don't know. Always take what I say with a grain of salt. I'm obviously a fucking idiot. Don't listen to me as much. I just think I always want to bring the point across. My number one point as a streamer, if I can ever influence anyone. Accept that life isn't fair. Accept that life and the universe wants to fuck you dry without any loop, man. It wants to fuck you up. And you gotta do something about it or you don't. That's the two options in life. You do something or you fucking don't. That's what it all comes down to. <clears throat> all right. 24 divisionas. Heinz is back. Let's go. I need to finish the stream almost. Let's, let's really finish Russia here, man. I think Russia is very far away, though. I'm a bit brain FK, but this, this achievement is over, man. I mean, I don't have to pay that much attention to this anymore. Where's Russia? Okay. I'm not that far away. And now subscribe. Thank you. Disagree? We all have human dignity and worth. Your world will lead to anti-humanism. Uh, can, could you elaborate? Go deeper? I can't follow you. I'm too dumb to understand. Can you elaborate? All right. There's also a new group slowly formed. They're called Internet Sigma, so want relationships by hating using girls as a tool. Yeah. F fuck these people. I mean, fuck them. Here we are real men. We're not people like this. Thank you, Croc Panther. What's up, man? My boy from Company of Heroes, bro. I remember your name. If you listen to Tate at the end of the day, you're still gonna be a fat retard who now hates women. Thank you, Bureau Garde. Merci beaucoup pour la subscription, mon frère. Je. Je. Je broom broom à Paris. This year. Oui, oui. What? I, I never understood stood people like this. Like these. These oily men that that want to fuck models all the time and always throw them away and this Andrew Tate style of life where you just fuck women and then you go next and next. I never understood that. Where's the challenge in that? The intellectual challenge. I think it's so much more interesting to to, to build a relationship with a woman. Like coming together with a woman and and experiencing everything. The the love phase, the sex phase, the the the, the relationship phase, the baby phase. I think that's so much more interesting then. I think men that always run to the next woman, especially when you're over 30. When you're 20, man, you're fucking horny. You wanna fuck, I get it. You're fucking 20, bro. You just wanna get your dick sucked. I get it. But once you're like 30, bro, and you still run around just fucking girls every weekend and nothing changes, I, I don't know, man. I feel like you're coping for something. I think I don't think that's very manly. I think you're a bit... Something is Obviously, something isn't okay, man. Do you think every man should carry a sword? Yes, katana. And you have to make the katana yourself. <clears throat> UJ SFO so far? Uh, AI still cheats a lot. But this is porn music, eh? What the fuck? I need to call the stream here. Yeah, Lisa's calling for me. I think I'll call it here. I don't want to put another stream into this. Uh, yeah, YouTube viewers. Marconi and YouTube viewers. Hi. Yes, I'm not finishing the game. You know why you YouTube plebs? First of all, because the Twitch boys and me are above you. Every Twitch viewer will be the YouTube viewer in a boxing match, and you know it. Secondly, I did the challenge, man. The hot pot is over. I'm shitting on everything. Let's do something else that's more interesting. Come over to Twitch and be a real man for once. Marconi, have fun with editing this. It's been fun. Don't shit, this has been fun. This has been fun. It's been fun. This is mostly where Marconi's like, can you send me the save file so I can finish it? It's over, though. It's over, though. Fuck the YouTube plebs. 
Fuck the YouTube clips. Can we get a fuck YouTube real quick? Can we?